Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and after so many requests, today we are finally going to be talking about doing all the objectives in the gas station of Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, how to do them and more importantly, what are the best exits and tactics when trying to escape. Now as you know, the gas station is the only map that wasn't on the PTB, so it's a map that a lot of people struggled with, and me especially. The other two maps, I was kind of familiar with them, but this one, when I got into them, I was like, what the hell is going on here? And I'm sure most people felt like that whenever they played the game for the very first time. I think the map design in this game is very good, it's very tricky to navigate and to really understand where you are and where things are. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, join the channel for more perks and also drop me a like to support more content like this. So quick recap, in all maps you've got all four same objectives. However, in this map you have a fifth method of escaping. So you've got a generator powering an exit gate, you've got a car battery powering another exit gate, you've got a basement exit powered by a fuse box, and you've got a valve pressure gate exit powered by a pressure pump, so all the same as the other maps. However, the fifth exit is through the gas station front door, which is the simplest exit of them all. I'll be telling you how many locks you need to pick in order to access each exit, but bear in mind that if the cook is in the map, all of that could change. And trust me, cook will be on this map if the family is actually trying. As you know by now, if the generator has been switched off, everyone gets an audible notification. If the valve gets switched on, you all hear the noise. If the basement exit gets powered up and open, everyone sees the highlight of the exit. And the only exit that is completely quiet is the car battery. In terms of good tactics for escaping, if family is on you and they start camping the exit you're at, try and move on to another objective. Good family players will never leave because they know you're about. My favorite tactic is to actually open a gate and leave it open and then go and do something else on the other side of the map. That can distract at least one family member so that you have enough time to open other exits. And remember, you've got wells on all the areas of the map so that you can fall back in case you're spotted. And you also have toolboxes to find lockpicks, so don't worry about looking for a lockpick before going to those areas. You can always get one there. The risk is that you have to spend time searching for one, which could be enough to have one of the family patrols spotting you. Also, if you don't know the location of the toolboxes, that might make things a little bit more difficult. But I will be dropping a link down the description with both maps of the basement and of the ground area. And that's going to show you the location of all the objectives, everything you can collect and triggers. So just check that out. So let's talk about the generator. Once you're out of the basement, you can access this exit through two different gates. One is very close to grandpa and the other is closer to the house. There are chickens by both gates, so it makes it really tricky to get through this one. You're going to need three lock picks, one for basement, one for the gate to the generator area, and one for the exit gate. And the basement exit that is closer to this exit is through the car part storage. If you manage to get through the gate to compound, make sure you unlock the gate that the generator is powering up before you actually kick the generator. Once you're through that final gate, make sure you have enough stamina to run to the exit. Flight or Fight is definitely a perk you should bring to the gas station map as there can be quite a bit of a run from the exit gate to the map exit. So I must say however that this exit is extremely risky. Unless you have a whole team there to protect whoever is kicking the generator, I wouldn't go for this exit. Competent family members are very good at patrolling this area because in this area we also have another exit which is much simpler than the generator. In fact, if you manage to get through the gate to this area, you should probably try this other exit instead. Gas station front door. The front door to the gas station is in the building on the right side of the generator area. To get to it, all you need to do is go through the back door or narrow gap of this little building. Go all the way to the end, enter the narrow passage again, and you'll find a door that is locked. Once you pick that lock, you'll be out through the very front of the gas station. This leads the same way as if you had gone through the generator gate. This was considered the cheese exit by most players as all you need to access this is three lock picks. However, good family teams will bring Cook into the match and he most likely will padlock the gas station exit. And due to how easy it is for family to patrol this area, you might find that in order to do this exit, you have to open another crucial gate or exit in order to trick family members into leaving this area. Car battery exit. This exit is still a good choice as it is on the opposite side of the generator exit. And since this is a silent exit, this can be a decent exit to go for. However, be aware that from Tuesday 12th September, this has been patched and the car battery will be on from the start of the match. 
so you are unlikely to find the car battery powered off like before. Like the generator exit, you can access this area through two different gates. One's called bridge and the other one's called container bridge. There can be a chicken on this side of the gate on bridge and there can be a chicken just as you go past the container through container bridge. So careful when going through those. So in total again is three lock picks, one for basement, one for gate to the area and one for exit gate. As usual, do the lock pick first, then switch off the car battery. There is a chicken by the tool shed in this area, kill it for the extra XP and then leave. Valve and pump. The valves can be spawned literally everywhere across the map. So check out the map on the link to see all the potential spawn locations. After you collect a valve, two of the pumps might be located around the house and the other one might be at the end of the map near the generator exit at car parts storage. There is an annex house there called storage shed which grandpa sometimes spawns in. If he is there I wouldn't go for pump if the pump is by car parts storage as it makes it easy for the family to switch off the valve. It is also extremely risky. If the pump is there however it does mean there is less going on on the car battery exit side of the map which could be an incentive to go that way. If the pumps are around the main house, you are also at risk as you'll be very exposed whilst doing the valve. Like the other exits in the map, a good tactic is to switch on the valve and then go do something else. It will distract family members, some of which might come to switch off the valve and others might go to the valve exit. You could also ambush lonely family members who are switching off the valve to try and force it to open. I wouldn't do this if they are in pairs, however. If you decide to go for the valve exit after successfully opening the valve, then you will find the valve exit next to the left gate to backfield where the car battery is. Basement exit. This is by far becoming the go-to exit for victims after the first few weeks the game has released. And this is because of the ease of finding the fuse boxes and doing the whole thing. The big counters for this is CC poisoning the fuse, which will review your location once you touch it. And also Hitchhiker putting a trap by the fuse box, which means someone equipped with a lockpick plus fuse will have to find a bone chart to swap items, disarm the trap, and then go back for the fuse again, unless they're equipped with bomb squads. So there are two spawn locations for the fuse boxes inside the house. The third location is just outside the annex house where grandpa sits at times. The RNG can also be on the victim's favor. In some instances, when the fuse boxes spawns outside the annex house, the fuse will spawn on the shed across from it. Don't have a lockpick? Well, the other shed next door might have a toolbox so you have everything you need to open that exit. It's becoming a bit of a cheese exit as well, but don't expect competent family members to not patrol the area. Like in the Volve case, if grandpa is outside the annex, this becomes riskier, but if there are no traps and you've got everything you need, then luck might be on your side. If you have enough health, the best way to get to the basement exit after you've opened it is to jump down the well located southwest to the house near the valve exit. You'll end up in the north tunnel. Just follow the tunnel, stick into the right, and eventually you'll get to the exit. Otherwise, the easiest way is through the house basement exit. Take a right as soon as you get to the basement and follow North Tunnel until you get to the basement exit. And that's about it for this guide guys, I hope this was helpful somehow. Please remember to support the channel by subscribing, dropping me a like and even join so that you get more perks such as badges next to your name when you drop a comment or during the chat, special emojis, priority reply to comments and a big shout out at the end of the videos. And here's a big shout out to Praise G Buzz and to One Trick Wu Tang. Thank you so much for your support guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, have a great day and I'll see you all next time.